sports bikes have the best of everything. Engines, handling, technology, and of course, massive, addictive power. But if you've ever wanted the best of both worlds, that is, sports bike everything, with a versatile, streetable package you can ride every day, we'll show you today why the BMW S1000R is the bike you want. In case you didn't know, yes, BMW does make motorcycles as BMW Motorrad. In fact, it's been making motorcycles for longer than it has been making cars. The very first BMW motorcycle was the R32 from 1923. And the very first BMW automobile was the BMW 3 slash 15 made in 1927. As it is with the four-wheel world, BMW is a top manufacturer of luxury and high-performance motorcycles. Its most famous model and still the best seller is the all-conquering GS Adventure Bike. But now it also has the heritage range including the R9 T family and the R18. That's in addition to a full model lineup which even includes Class 2A legal bikes like the G310 GS. So where does best of both worlds come in? Well, in 2009, BMW shocked the motorcycling world. It released its very first litre superbike the BMW S1000 RR. That bike rocketed to the top of the class immediately in all ways. The S1000 RR has evolved constantly since then, keeping its place at the head of the superbike class. In 2014, BMW Motorrad made the S1000 Single R, a high-performance, street-focused motorcycle based on the double R. And this is the new 2021 model, and BMW has continued to distill the RR DNA into this bike. It's not a sports bike, but it has lots of visual aggression, really aggro, like a super naked really should be. See the hunched, almost menacing stance, the new adaptive LED headlight, and slick styling, including aerodynamic features. It's very sporty, but the design is done so with thought and care for the rider. Take the chassis for example. This is the same flex frame from the current s 1000 rr but it's narrower than before, which allows for better knee comfort. As you can see, the riding position is sporty, but still upright enough to be painless. And you can even tailor things to your liking. You can adjust the position of the handlebar through the handlebar clamps. You can even spec optional handlebar risers, and you can also choose a high or low seat. Even the swing arm makes you comfortable. It's been pushed further back, away from the engine, to prevent excess heat from pooling under you, a very important feature on a Super Naked. And lastly, there's bling with a reason. This bike has the optional M package, which is to bikers what blood is to sharks. It looks really cool, but all that also reduces weight. At 197 kilos, the S1000R is the lightest Super Naked in its class, and the M package shaves off another five kilos. Less weight means better everything, better handling, better acceleration, better overall performance. And it also makes the bike really easy to park. But enough manpower, let's focus on horsepower. 165 horsepower right here. The BMW S1000R. Now here is the R part. What BMW did is they took one liter engine from the double R and retuned it for more torque and more acceleration. It still has 165 horsepower. This bike actually does zero to 200 in eight seconds. <laughs> What the S1000R gives you isn't just power, what it gives you importantly is also comfort. I can imagine riding this bike every day. The S1000R also has extensive rider aids and selectable ride modes. So you can go from focused, racetrack ready performance to relaxed, comfortable commuting at the push of a button. The S1000R has a 6-axis IMU, which means that its traction control and ABS are lean sensitive. So they understand what you want to do and what needs to be done for safety. The less sophisticated examples of Super Nakeds are simply super bikes with no fairing and taller handlebars. But not so the BMW S1000R. We've seen today that it offers a true blend of sports bike performance, technology and handling in a package that takes the RR DNA and evolves it into a versatile, streetable package that retains all of the bike's high performance. And riding a bike like this, it's loud, it's powerful, it's in your face. In the age of the electric vehicle, I think it is actually quite refreshing and rebellious even. But I think those are the kinds of R's that any hot-blooded motorcyclist can get behind. <laughs>